Google Pixel 8 Pro, a fresh update. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Google's third generation Tensor chipset, the Tensor G3, has been given specifications by Android Authority and these specifics are coinciding with a Geekbench sighting that is addressed separately. In summary, the two leaks both demonstrate that the Tensor G3 has three CPU core clusters, each of which contains four performance cores, four efficiency cores, and a single prime core, all of which have clock speeds of about 3 GHz, 2.45 GHz, and 2.15 GHz, respectively. In contrast to the Cortex-X1, Cortex-A76, a78 and Cortex A55 cores of the Tensor and Tensor G2. Google constructed the Tensor G3 around the Cortex X3, Cortex A715, and Cortex A510. To counteract some attacks that target a device's memory, Google has migrated to ARM v9, which only supports 64-bit binaries, as well as memory tagging extensions. The Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are anticipated to be the first Android handsets to come with bootloaders that support MTE. Tensor G3 will also include a Mali G715, most likely a 10-core Mali G715 MP10 variant with an 890 MHz clock speed. While the GPU is marketed as Mali, Camilla Wojciechowska explains that since any G715 with 10 or more cores has ray tracing capabilities, it also qualifies as an Immortalis component. Additionally, Google will only allow AV1 encoding at 4K 30fps and 720p 240fps on the Tensor G3 smartphone so, although 8K 30fps H.264 and Hefk encoding and decoding are also rumored for the processor, Android Authority says that Google has disabled 8K recording in an internal version of the Google Camera app, probably because it would cause the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro to overheat. Additionally, Tensor G3 will support UFS 4.0 and include an improved TPU and second-generation digital signal processor. On the other hand, the Exynos modem 5300 featured in last year's chipset will remain in this year's and in comparison to Tensor and Tensor G2, Tensor G3 appears to be a significant improvement. However, preliminary performance data indicates that the Tensor G3 may lag behind devices like the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. In addition to that, the Pixel 8 recently completed the Wireless Power Consortium certification procedure. Much like any smartphone supporting Qi wireless charging, the Google Pixel 6 placeholder image in the listing, however, prevents it from showing the design. However, the GKWS 6 model appears to be authentic and the Pixel 8 popping up on WPC's website this early could be an indication of an earlier release because the Pixel 7 family from last year debuted there a week after release. In any case, the Qi charging is once more rated at 12 watts, putting an end to rumors and conjectures regarding support for the more recent Qi 2 standard which was released in January of this year. With that information said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.